I'm a chemist by background, but materials chemistry overlaps with physics and engineering. So basically, chemists can make things, physicists can measure them, and engineers do something useful with them. I've been fortunate to find my niche in life, I think, that uh, it suits me perfectly. I was, I was trained as a chemist, and in this particular environment, able to move sideways uh, from pure chemistry into materials. In my particular area, I'm a solid state chemist working on electroceramics, which are ceramic materials that have interesting and useful properties in things like battery components, fuel cell components, capacitor materials, because our courses are cross-disciplinary, where we choose the different aspects of chemistry, physics and engineering that we need. And so that's a real strength of Sheffield. It's, it's a place where barriers really no longer exist between the different disciplines. And people come here because, in our case, materials, it's materials that is their real interest, rather than being an engineer or a physicist. We call it a conversion course because we take people with different backgrounds in engineering and science, convert them into material scientists and give them their special, specialization. And it's their final project at the end which gives them some insights into research in their area of specialization. We know what happens to our students when they finish here. They go, oh, oh some go to do PhDs, some go, many go back home to their countries and work in glass factories or cement factories or materials science research institutes. And it's clear that the training that we provide them is very appropriate to their uh, subsequent needs.